Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you at this time? And let's just jump right in for Taurus. Let's see what's coming towards Taurus in Love Spirit. What messages do you have? For Taurus. Who or what is coming towards Taurus? What can Taurus expect? Who or what is coming towards Taurus in love? This reading will be for those of you who are completely single, involved with someone, thinking of someone. We'll see what comes up. Spirit guided and protected. Number 16. Who or what is coming towards Taurus? Intelligent, logical, and analytical, number three. So I feel like spirit is bringing you someone. Or whoever this is. Um, I'm getting that this is... Um, this is going to be someone that makes sense. That's the message I'm getting. I'm trying to figure out how to how to translate that. Uh, when you meet them, it just makes sense. Almost like it was orchestrated or it was, you know, like it, I'm getting this energy of someone that when you meet them, it's like you've known them forever. Like you've known them before. I have intelligent, logical, and analytical. So they could be very smart. Um, maybe you have very thought provoking conversations or just interesting conversations. What else do we need to know about who or what is coming towards Taurus when it comes to love? Who or what is coming towards Taurus spirit when it comes to love? Oh, what is coming towards Taurus in love? Balancing act. I always, every time I see this card um, with like a reading about love or someone like coming towards love, that kind of um, question, I think of someone being undecided. So it's not so much juggling and balance but being undecided, not sure what to do, weighing the options. Breathe in, yeah, meditation, healing, rest, take time to medica meditate and relax your mind and body. So I'm getting like you being very thought, like thinking a lot about whoever this is coming towards you. Now this could be somebody that you have been dealing with for a while, is completely new to you. Um, I don't think that that matters as much as the way that you feel when they're, you know, in front of you. Um, let's see what we get with the tarot. What do we need to know for Taurus? Spirit. Who or what is coming towards Taurus in love? Who is coming towards Taurus in love? Who is coming towards Taurus? in love. Let's see what we get. Wow. Ace of Cups, first card out. The High Priestess. Seven of Pentacles is a lot of thinking here. The Empress Reverse. There's a lot of thinking here. Um, bottom of the deck, the Nine of Wands Reverse. Yeah. It's almost like whatever this is, it, you know, maybe you need to not think so much. Maybe you need to listen to your intuition about this with the high priestess. Um, I, I find you wondering about the future. So when this person shows up, I find you thinking of the future, maybe having doubts of the future. I mean, this definitely is going to feel like love. I have the Ace of Cups here. So emotions are strong. I'm curious why the Empress is reversed. Typically when the Empress is reversed, 
there is delayed growth or something isn't really being created, something isn't growing, um, something isn't being manifested. Um, the Empress Reverse could also be somebody that uh, planted seeds in the wrong garden. Sometimes they can be a bit controlling. So we'll see what that's all about when we clarify. Spirit, can we get some clarity, please? For, oops, for Taurus. Okay. Well, let's start with this Ace of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. I feel like when I see this Ace of Cups, I feel that a lot of you, this will be like a new beginning in love. Yeah, Ace of Wands. That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, something new. Something that's being created, explored. Bottom of the deck, wow, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, definitely. Some. So this is something new for a lot of you. For the Torians that I am connecting with. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. So this is going to be someone that comes to you. Oh my God, and the Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. What is happening? I'm telling you, it's almost like it, it just, it makes sense, Taurus. This person is just you and this person together makes sense. Tell me about the high priestess. Tell me about the high priestess, please. Three of cups. Tell me about the high priestess. The High Priestess is a card about intuitive, um, intuitive, like someone's intuitive nature, spiritual um, abilities, um, secret knowledge. The High Priestess is has psychic abilities. Um, there, you know, you look behind the veil, and there's something special there. She doesn't freely give out knowledge. You have to work for it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the High Priest is a very powerful energy. Now I have the Three of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. And the bottom of the deck, the Six of Wands. I find this fascinating, this Eight of Pentacles, because I already have... Um, I hope you can still hear me because I was wiping my eyes. I already have the seven of pentacles here. So this eight of pentacles, I kind of want to know what, what, the, what it's about. Because it's almost like you are trying to figure something out with the high priestess. These two energies, I, they feel very similar to me. The breathe in and the high priestess, they both are um, feminine energies with their eyes closed. Almost like you're seeking something. So what does this have to do with Three of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles? Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Let's start there. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Moon. Yeah, you're trying to figure something out. Pisces energy. High Priestess is a uh, strong Pisces energy. Tell me about the Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups about? Three of Cups is a card about coming together. It's a card about... Um, gatherings, reunions, celebrations, friendship. You're trying to, yeah, so basically what I'm getting here is you're trying to figure out this person or this offer. You don't want to just take it without thinking about it. I feel like when, when it comes to love for the Torians that I'm talking about in this reading, um, you are very concerned about the longevity of your partnership, the future of your partnership. It's almost like you only want something serious at this time. You want to take your time getting to know somebody. Uh, you don't want things to be, you don't want there to be secrets. You don't want there to be 
anything like that thing you know it's almost like you're being very um logical and analytical about this this person could start off being a friend or a co-worker and perhaps that complicates things for you because you don't want to maybe mess with that tell me about the seven of pentacles why is the seven of pentacles here I'm getting that this is all happening with this offer, like it's all connected. The Ace of Cups is going to show up, right? And then all of this is like your reaction to it. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, interesting. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is what I'm, it's like, it's like I feel in your mind, you're thinking about the long game. Maybe you're scared that someone will walk away from you. Maybe somebody already walked away from you and that's not something you want to repeat. Um, I have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. So you could have had difficulty in a past connection. Maybe love just hasn't worked out for you and it kind of colors the way that you see this particular offer. I'm also getting the sense too that with that Ten of Wands, you don't want to just do all of the work on your own or to have everything be on, like for you to be the only one that makes an effort. Because the Eight of Pentacles is definitely someone that makes the effort. Take, um, takes a lot of time, energy, the Eight of Pentacles. And so it's almost like you, you want to make sure that whoever this is, whatever this is coming up for you in love, that it has a future. So why is the Empress reverse? Why is the Empress reverse? Two of Wands. Ah, oh, okay. So this is a this is a part of the decision. I really feel like you're conflicted. Um, maybe this isn't like you. Maybe you know you feel like maybe you haven't you're not able to manifest or you haven't been able to manifest the right situation up till now but now there's someone else coming in or it could be someone from the past it really doesn't matter whoever it is that's coming in i feel like you are perhaps worried um the hermit Virgo energy. Another card about listening to your intuition. Yeah. It's very important that you listen to your intuition, that you listen to your gut about this. Whatever message comes in, whatever offer comes in, and it will. I have two aces here, the knight of swords here. Um, you will have to make a decision whether to move forward with this. And I think a lot of you could be, you know, you might have to drop your guard a bit, or you might have to do things a little bit differently. Maybe you have to do something outside of your comfort zone. Um, Maybe you have to trust somebody and that's difficult for you. I also feel like there might be a bit of insecurity here with the Empress reverse because the Empress upright knows her value, knows her worth. So sometimes when I see her reverse, it's almost like there's an insecurity there, an uncertainty. You know, do I even have the right judgment to make the right decision? That's where your intuition is going to come in. So that's what I have for you, Taurus, for who or what is coming towards you in love. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated for you. If you enjoyed this bonus reading, then hit that like button, subscribe. I'd love to have you, and that way you can see new videos from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.